So welcome ladies and gentlemen, we're back today, uh, we're back again aren't we? We're back again for another attempt at this tantalising Master League series. I mean it's been a little bit all over the place, uh, you know, we haven't had the goals that we've wanted, but you know, I've, I've tried to stick to legend, haven't I, throughout the course of this playthrough, but today we're going to go back to Superstar, I'm going to put it on Superstar and see if my team is still... Just for me, very sluggish. As I said in the last video, it's like the form arrows mean nothing to me. Uh, oh, that's how my team's been playing. I don't know if it's a legend handicap. I don't know. But that's what we're going to test out today. There's a look at Sheffield United. See, they had a good result uh, against Arsenal uh, on Monday, beating one goal to nil. Playing a, a 5-2-1-2. It's a very defensive-minded but I'm going for this today, a 4-4-2, and yes, I keep switching up the formation. I, I, I don't know why, but I, I, I just struggle to find something. The problem I have, right, with Pez is on FIFA, I can get players to make runs. You can go into the tactics, and you can technically make and make runs. Now, I know in Pez, we've got fluid formation, right? So I can push players forward, but sometimes it still doesn't seem to work. And that's what annoys me. It's like I've got the ball with someone like, you know, Madison, and there's no movement. You want players to make the runs. But anyway, today we're playing a 4-4-2. Keep the same back line. We've got an 84 spirit, so it isn't bad. Even though, yes, it was my fault. I, after reading the comments, yes, it was probably my fault for bringing Pogba back too soon. I got excited. It's as simple as that. So we won't be doing that again when he returns. Uh, but I think he's going to miss the big game that's coming up after this, which I'm not quite sure who it is. But... Anyway, so we've got Rashford, McTominay, Madison, Lingard. We're going for this because it is actually quite a big difference when you switch a few of these players around, and I'd rather have as high spirit as we can. Uh, but when we have the ball, you know, we're going for it. It's as simple as that. We're going to put Juan Basakra sort of a right mid. Luke Shaw is a left mid. Centre-backs quite high. If we get caught with possession, then we get caught with possession. But the whole point of this is to get players forward when we have the ball. And then when, we, when we're out of possession, drop a little bit deeper. Keep Rashford a little bit higher for the counter. Uh, and not drop these two too far back. Otherwise, there's going to be no one up there if we do win it back in our own half. So there we have it. There's a look at the lineups. And we're just going to get things rolling. Yeah, we've got Spurs in the next game. That's the big match. Playing Spurs and Pulp is not going to be around because uh, I messed up, I guess. Anyway. Let's dive into it. I hope you guys do enjoy it. Smash the like button. Hopefully, we'll have some goals. On Superstar, I would fully expect us to score some goals here. If we don't, I'm not going to be happy at all. Going to give us the black kit for today. Why not mix it up a little bit? Without further ado, let's do it. So, we return to some more Premier League action. Manchester United away from home today, taking on Sheffield United, the newly promoted side from the Championship. But unfortunately for Jose, Paul Popper is out for another six days. Wasn't a smart decision to, or smart decision to play him in that last game. So, they're going to have to wait six more days for his return, which means he is going to be missed in that match against Tottenham but hang on a minute we've got an early chance here for Martial and while he went for the left footed strike across the goal and Sheffield United have got to be careful you can't give it away there and Anthony Martial he had no support he had to go it alone and just fell short Henderson a long clearance away Rashford has moved in just a little bit more central Osborne He's got caught there by McTominay and now the Scotsman has to make a decision which way will he go he dinks it over the top it was the right idea because Sheffield United's back line had advanced forward but as you can see in the opening 10 minutes here United are getting a lot of the ball and creating a couple of chances as well even Scott McTominay has been advancing forward quite a bit Mousset lays it back Osborne feeds it up the line. Better by Sheffield United. They tried to play it across the face of the goal, but luckily Wan Bissaka was ready and waiting. Here comes Rashford now. Back to Harry Maguire. Wan Bissaka's gone plowing forward. Lingard. Too much by the Englishman. He's been dispossessed. Now Chavez. 
with a good challenge by uh, Harry Maguire. He's definitely been a, a really good signing for Manchester United. They needed someone like Maguire in a proper centre-back that is capable of actually passing a ball as well. So here's Martial now. Still going. Oh, Martial's got fortunate, but the finish wasn't. Quality goal. And Manchester United are back, scoring goals. And it's the Frenchman of Martial claiming the first blood for the Red Devils. And here he was. He's got a little bit lucky here with his cutback. But he kept the ball, and still it's a quality finish. Bends it past Henderson. It's Jagielka, who used to be a former Everton man. And to swing it around the other way to Stevens. Good acceleration and pace, and he's actually got the pace to get away from wan -Bissaka and turn Harry Maguire inside out. Still going, ball's been fed across, but here is wan -Bissaka. Greenwood couldn't get there first. Sheffield United now piling on a little bit of pressure. We see Lingard. Tomine. Greenwood, lovely ball. And Greenwood's continued to run. And he just couldn't quite get it in his path. You now he's got two good, very good feet. Two good, very good feet. Interesting terminology, but you know what we're saying. Good on his left foot, good on his right foot, but hang on, chance for Osborne, and fired over the bar. Maguire picks it up. And here's Luke Short. Inside to McTominay. Madison. Maguire. wan telegraphed the pass a little bit too much. Osborne picks it up. United, you know, they're playing only two, two midfielders today, and often you do see him playing three in the centre of midfield. Well, here is a chance. That's a lovely ball. It's going to be Martial again, and he's hit the post this time. Well, this is more like it by the Frenchman. Great ball by Lingard, but you see the acceleration that Anthony Martial has. He's so unlucky. Short. Rashford, lovely ball back to Luke Shaw. There's a selection of players in there to choose from. Question is, how's the delivery? It wasn't bad. Forced the keeper to have to make a save. And it looks like that is going to be half time. As Man United have a slender 1 0 lead that you probably say fully deserved with the way the first half has gone. So Sheffield United have made a change at half-time. Norwood replaces Osborne. Man United have kept the uh, the same lineup as the ball's drilled in. Lovely bit of football. Deflection by Martial Strike. That could have been number two. They're always vulnerable after the break, as they say, and Sheffield United nearly were. Morrison, oh, lovely ball up the line. And Man United have been caught napping, and De Gea's come up strong. The ball's come back towards him and smashed away. Here's Rashford. Luke Shaw back up the line to Marcus Rashford. Players are certainly waiting for it. And Mason Greenwood will be disappointed there. Disappointed that he hasn't at least tested Henderson. Great give and go by Rashford and Luke Shaw. Dinked in. Just has to keep it down. Now Lingard picks up the loose ball. Manchester United can calmly work it round the other way. Luke Shaw. Rashford's missed it. Addison's there. Harry Maguire. Now a played here. Man United are looking for number two. It's a great ball up the line. Jesse Lingard. Now, what does he do is the question. Feeds it off. wan looking near post, but the deflection took all the sting out of it. And Henderson, who's been relatively busy today, smashes it clear. Looks like United will be making a change very, very shortly. Some tired legs out there. The masters of the 1-0 wins, especially this season, they haven't scored as many as they would have wanted to. They haven't conceded a ton either. 
think that's one positive you do take away from it. Well, here's Martial. Very lively in the first half. Took a slight deflection. Here he is again. Lays it up the line. Looking for Jesse Lingard. Has he stolen it? He has. And surely that's going to be number two. But no, Henderson was equal to it. Maybe could have gone for the, the little dink over the top of him. And Sheffield United are going to make their second change with Freeman coming on. And United's first two changes, Sancho on for Greenwood, Ashley Young replacing Wan-Bissaka. So Ashley Young comes on, playing his right back, traditional position for him. Well, he can play left back, right back, technically it doesn't matter too much. And Sancho has gone on the other flank and the young boy's got a lot of pace and here he is now. Cuts back one way, then the other. Still going Sancho, feeds it off. Now Luke Shaw goes all the way back to Lindelof. He's got McTominay. It's going to be Jesse Lingard. And, well, why not hit it? It's a lot of space and time for him there to get it out of his feet. Just line up the strike. And he takes a couple of touches. Forcing the keeper to make a, a relatively comfortable stop. Madison will take this. 18 minutes left to play. Fires it in. Dangerous ball, and that is a brilliant header by the captain for today, Harry Maguire. And you would expect United now to take home all three points. It's a great ball in, but this is an emphatically taken header. Right into the top bins, as they say. Even with the defender on the line, unable to keep it out. Manchester United take a 2 0 lead. And that will do nicely. So with 17 minutes left now, Man United have a nice little cushion, you say. Harry Maguire, I think he's generally a player that probably deserves a goal. Even though he's a centre-back, he still deserves a goal. He really does. That's a late one from behind. Yes, he got the ball, but he had to go through his man to do so. And the captain goes into the book. Challenge on Martial. Ashley Young past his man there goes down Young and just to regain possession now Lingard goes down Mousset reverse ball up the line Maguire has been running all day and here he is again looking to come across and that should be comfortable for De Gea who wasn't able to get there he does the second time with a phenomenal save and now Man United look to break it with Sancho down the left-hand side. And he's got the pace. The question is, has he got the finish? He tried to lay it back to Rashford, takes a slight deflection. And we're off again, back and forth. Only five minutes left to play. Well, Sheffield United have had chances. You can't say they haven't. United definitely have had the better of the chances, and that's why they're leading 2-0, but... De Gea still pulled off some blinders as it looks like Freeman has taken a bit of a knock there. And United's final change, the goal scorer, Anthony Martial, had a good game today, placed by Daniel James. Final five minutes. Here is a chance now once again, and Daniel James has picked it up. And Daniel James is through. Can he score? Can he score? Oh, not quite. What a substitution it would have been. We know he's got electrifying pace, which is exactly what he uses here. You can see the spin on the ball. Got a little bit lucky there, and the left-footed strike into the side netting. Maguire's won four challenges today. He's won more than any other player. And there he is winning the header. He very well could be man of the match. As United look for a number three with Sancho. Cuts back, lays it across. It's Rashford and he's completely fluffed it. Should be three, should be four at this point. Sheffield United now are starting to get worn down. Great play by Sancho. And Rashford, that's where clinical finishing he misses and lacks. 12 attempts for Manchester United today. Tells the story of how this game has gone Got two minutes left stoppage time here 
because United won't want to concede a clean sheet. That's going to be comfortable for David De Gea. Launches it out quickly. Trying to find uh, Jesse Lingard there, but in fact he found a, a red and white shirt. Here's Freeman. Floated high. Should be comfortable for Tommy, and it is. And that is the full-time whistle. So Jose will be delighted. A clean sheet and three points. And you're also getting your big centre-half scoring from a corner. Not too bad at all. Sheffield United are unlucky, but never really looked like they were going to create too much to win the game. Three attempts to 12. 47 to 53% possession. Man of the match was Harry Maguire, along with Anthony Martial. So there we have it. What a difference, right? What a difference that felt. Honestly, I'm not even joking, and I know I was playing Sheffield United and I was on Superstar, but I actually felt like my team was a little bit more responsive. I genuinely did. I genuinely felt like when I was pressing a button, they were doing what I asked them to. So I'm telling you, there's something wrong with the legend difficulty. There's a huge handicap. But either way, Aston Villa won 2 0, Arsenal won 2 0, Leicester won 1 0, Chelsea 4 1 winners, Man City won 2 0, and Liverpool lost to Tottenham three goals to one. So we remain fifth. We closed the gap on Liverpool at least. Still six points ahead of Chelsea. Uh, but Tottenham are having a ridiculous season. We've got to change that in the next episode as we are taking them on. And that's going to be a, a, a cracking game, I'm sure. Everton still bottom, Bournemouth, and then Sheffield United. So, yeah, Sheffield United, they had a few chances. They had a few chances, but, yeah, on Superstar, it's it's going to be easier. I know it is. Of course it is. Anyway, Hamstick there wins Asia Best Player Award. Okay, so there we have it. And the early strike was enough for the win. Yeah, Martial played better. Definitely did. Hamstick wants to thank his teammates. And Man United are moving up the rankings. We are now 13th, apparently, too. So anyway, we shall return for the next episode to take on Tottenham. That's going to be a big, big matchup. And, you know, if I put it on Superstar, I'm more confident I'm going to win. I certainly am put it on legend and no i'm just not uh, i was gonna see if what uh it's tottenham's but anyway look players are up for it hopefully they'll be the same when we uh, do advance the time but yeah we'll return hope you guys enjoyed it until next time take care and that patch yeah just around the corner now so we'll see uh we'll see if it if it's improved we shall all right take care guys